Come back. So right now our index file is still easy enough to read. There's only three functions here, but as you start, as the system starts growing, it'll be harder and harder to read. So this lesson, I want to show you guys how easy it is to actually export into multiple files and then use that inside your system. So that's what we're going to try and do. Now, right now I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to make a file for each of our functions right now. So I'm going to make a delete product file. I'm going to make an upload new product image file, and I'm going to make a products REST API file. And of course you can do this differently. You can actually go in and make multiple if you have an area like uh, everything for delete product, you have all the functions, you can have that in a single file and export multiple pieces of information inside that. But we're just going to keep it simple this lesson. So let's just start out by making a file for the delete product. So I'll go in here and say a new TypeScript file like this and I'll call it delete products, lowercase please, there we go, delete products and let's just call it function just to kind of explain this is going to be a function, right, that I'm putting in here. Uh, I could also call it Firestore function, whatever you want. It's up to you. It's just a name for the file, right? I'll go and I'll just grab everything in the index about the delete, all of this, the entire export right here, and I'll just put that directly in here. Just paste it in. That's all I have to do. Now it's in a separate function or in a separate file, sorry. It automatically imports these guys because I'm using WebStorm. Perfect stuff. Let's try and jump back to the index and see the next one. That's upload new product image. Let's just make a file with that name, uh, just to keep it simple again. Upload new product image, just like this. And again, I can make it a function if I want to, like this. Now again, the name is not that important. It's just it's just putting in a good name and uh, to make it easy for whoever uses your code to actually read what you're doing. And again, I'm copying in the exact thing that I just had right here. Let's just cut it and paste it in here instead. There we go. Now we have that function available right here. Now let's do the same for the final one, which is the products. I'm just going to rename that this time. I want it again to have a new file right here. And I just want to call it products rest uh, endpoint like this, because that's what it's going to be when I start introducing you guys to REST APIs soon. So there we'll put that in there. Let's just add this as well to get and then we'll go and just copy this guy. Now that's pretty much all I had to do from the point of view of creating all of these exports right here so we can start actually using this inside the index file. But you have to remember this guy, the index file is actually the access point for your entire function setup. So you need this guy still. We need to let this guy expose the other guys, right? So this guy needs to be our main entry point and then he needs to explain that there's a function here that we need to execute, there's a function here we need to execute, etc., etc. So we need to somehow use this file now to expose the other guys. We'll just get rid of this because I don't need the functions here anymore, I only need the admin. And then this guy will pretty much be our setup area for our functions, right? So what do I need to actually start exporting this? You need to say module.export right here, module.exports, and that's going to be equal just a JavaScript object for now, right? So what do we need to do next? We need to explain all the things we want to export. For instance, I know now I want to export the delete product from this um, class, or sorry, this uh, file right here. So we have to kind of get access to that file. We'll do that pretty much the same way we've done with these guys. We'll just say import everything. Let's call it delete products. That's just a name. You can put any name up here, but it's very important you put in the name of the file right here in the end dot front slash and then it's called delete products function like that and now I can actually very very simple add this to the exports just by adding three dots and putting this in here that's all we have to do now the three dot dots right here in front of everything just means that there could be multiple um, functions inside this guy and we just want to expose them all so what else can we do well we need to of course go and get the next one so I'll just again copy this line right here I'll be lazy and I'll just point to a new file and this file will be the product rest endpoint and let's just call it product rest right here again that name is up to you and I'll just add that down here again three dots product rest and then I need the final one so let's just do another import right here boingy boingy and I want to go and get another file so that will be the upload new image right here there we go and the upload new product image let's just call it upload new product image like this and I'll just take that and put it down here as well. And that's pretty much all I had to do, right? So that's how simple it is for you guys to kind of move your code into multiple files and look at how simple this now is and luckily I can now start jumping into each of the files and have a look and how they how, and have a look at how they run, right? So it's it's a lot easier for me to now get an overview of my code and also for your coworkers to get an overview of the code. So it's a very good idea to start splitting up your code 
and we'll keep working more on this in upcoming uh, lessons. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.